The world is trembling, causing a series of human tragedies. We are truly powerless in the face of nature and its devastating power. Father Michel Rodrigue has received an urgent warning from the powerful Archangel, Saint Michael, regarding the next deadly natural disaster. The mentioned countries will have to endure suffering in early October. Greetings to my fellow Christian brethren, and I extend a warm welcome to all of you on our channel. We pray that he may answer our requests through Jesus Christ and do so with divine guidance and love. May we all be protected from any harm and experience joy and success in our lives. Before we dive into the main message, don't forget to like this video and follow this YouTube channel to get the most recent messages from above. Let's start by praying to show our love to God. In the comments section, you may write your own words or Amen to connect your hearts with God's sacred temple. Heavenly Father, as I start this day, I come before you with a grateful heart. Thank you for the gift of life and the opportunities that lie ahead. Please guide me as I navigate through the day. Help me to see the good in every situation and to be a source of kindness and compassion to those around me. I pray for the strength to overcome any challenges that may come my way, and for the courage to stand up for what is right. May your love and grace be a constant presence in my life, and may I reflect that love to others. Thank you for hearing my prayer and for your constant provision. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today, we gather as a community of faith to reflect on a topic that has been on the minds of many, the impending earthquake that has been prophesied. While we face uncertainty and fear, it is essential to remember that our faith can provide us with the strength and courage to navigate these challenging times. As Catholics, we turn to the Word of God and the wisdom of our saints to find guidance and solace. As the Prince of the Heavenly Legions, I am commissioned to convey the Divine Will and the intercession of our Queen and Mother to you, beloved ones of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. The urgency of these times demands your heartfelt prayers, characterized by unwavering faith, charity, humility, and hope faithful in divine love and the protective mantle of our Queen and Mother in these end times. Express your profound gratitude to the Most Holy Trinity, your guardian angels, the saints you hold dear, and our Queen and Mother of the end times. In moments of necessity, be prepared to receive and offer vital assistance with a spirit of fraternal love. Reflect upon the gift of life and the true nature of divine protection. Treasure above all else the Holy Eucharist, the most precious gift bestowed upon humanity. Maintain a nourished personal faith that compels you to share your knowledge with others. Works and deeds are integral to the journey toward the heavenly banquet. Today, on this special occasion, let us not forget our beloved Angel of Peace. Offer prayers in His name, understanding that He will exemplify true faith, hope, and charity, rekindling these virtues in many of you. As nature follows its course, we witness the awakening of volcanoes and the destructive power of water in different parts of the world. Let us offer our prayers for the United States, as it is soon to face a substantial earthquake that will also impact parts of Canada, Mexico, too, is on the verge of enduring great trials, as it will be shaken by an earthquake causing distress among its people. Central America will face the consequences of earthquakes, causing distress and upheaval. Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru, along with other South American nations, will be affected by seismic activity, as will the coastal regions of Brazil and Chile. Uruguay and Argentina will also experience unexpected tremors. Beloved children of the Most Holy Trinity in our Queen and Mother, let not your hearts be troubled. Maintain inner peace, as it is vital amidst chaos. Faith shall guide you and prevent despair. Prepare yourselves for significant events, 
remembering that the owner of the vineyard goes before each of you. Cling to our mother's hand. Proceed with unwavering faith, devoid of fear, trusting in divine mercy, and seeking repentance for your sins. In Matthew 24 verse 7, Jesus himself foretold of earthquakes in various places. These words remind us that tribulations are a part of our earthly journey. Saint Teresa of Avila once said, Let nothing disturb you, let nothing frighten you, all things are passing away, God never changes. This reminds us to find our stability in God's unchanging love. In the face of impending natural disasters, it is crucial to examine our hearts and seek reconciliation through the sacrament of confession. As Saint Augustine said, you aspire to great things. Begin with little ones. Start by mending relationships and seeking forgiveness in your daily life. Psalm 46 verse 1 reassures us that, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Even in the midst of chaos, God remains our constant refuge. Saint Padre Pio once said, Pray, hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear your prayer. Place your trust in God's providence. In times of crisis, we must remember the greatest commandment, to love our neighbors as ourselves, Matthew 22 verse 39. Extend your help and support to those in need. Saint Mother Teresa's words remind us, it's not how much we give but how much love we put into giving. Our acts of charity should be driven by love and compassion. While we cannot control natural disasters, we can prepare practically by having emergency plans and supplies. Saint John Paul II emphasized, have no fear of moving into the unknown. Simply step out fearlessly knowing that I am with you. As Catholics, we turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, in our times of need. She understands our worries and intercedes for us. Saint Maximilian Kolbe beautifully expressed, Never be afraid of loving the Blessed Virgin too much. You can never love her more than Jesus did. Prayer is our lifeline in times of trouble. Seek solace in daily prayer, both individually and as a community. Saint Augustine's words resonate, pray as though everything depended on God. Work as though everything depended on you. Life's challenges are often our crosses to bear. In Matthew 16 verse 24, Jesus said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Saint Francis Delaware Sales reminds us, the everlasting God has in his wisdom foreseen from eternity the cross that he now presents to you as a gift from his inmost heart. While the impending earthquake may bring physical devastation, it cannot shake our faith unless we allow it. Saint John Chrysostom declared, the road to heaven is as narrow as it is rough. Dear brothers and sisters, the impending earthquake is a test of our faith, but it need not be a test of our hope and love. Let us remember the words of Jesus from John 16 verse 33, In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Through faith, we can overcome our fears and find strength in God's love. As we leave this place today, let us carry with us the knowledge that, even in the face of impending disaster, our faith can be an unwavering light of hope and love for the world. May we find the courage to live out our faith, trusting in God's providence and showing His love to all those we encounter. Amen.